Hey, hey, welcome back to Road Tripping with Rachel. I'm Rachel, and thank you so much for joining me here on this road trip, especially like the road trips that we call life. So, as you know, if you've been following my channel, I do like Bible studies like twice a month. We've been going through the Gospel of John, and I realized that I've been on YouTube for over 18 months, and I have never actually shown like how I like to do my Bible studies or prepare like when I'm getting ready to teach something. Now, this is just more like information in this video. Like it's totally not like a live by die by situation. It's just me kind of showing you what I like to do. My process, I am very much like a visual learner. If there are pictures, I am way more likely to remember it. Um, I can do really good with like ideas if I can connect it with something. Uh, uh, taking you through my process of how I prepare for a Bible study, I think it could be helpful to maybe someone else out there who might like approach things kind of the same way that I do. So what I like to do is I read through the passage first, like start to finish, I just go through it. And I will just pull up a document and then I will actually type out each verse. I will like make sure I mark like what chapters are in what. And so what I, it allows me to be able to visually break up each of the verses and see like, and then be able to group them into like what were actually complete thoughts because the idea and the concept of like a verse, the way we know it today, um, that wasn't a thing when it was written. <laughs> Paul was not sitting there saying, and we shall make Romans chapter six, verse 23. No, that wasn't a thing. Uh, it's it's how we broke it up in order to make it easier to find different things within the letters or within these prophetic books or the books of history or the law. Uh, it was broken up that way so that way it makes it easier for us to be able to find the information that we're looking for. But I go through, I break up each chapter verse by verse, and then I color code and I will have notes off to myself um, along the side. So which obviously like, it's not like I'm sponsored by anybody. <laughs> like I'm too small for that. Um, this is just a feature that I happen to really like. And so like, I'll have notes off to the side, um, like things that I might wanna eventually include. And then, like I said, I will color code. And if I pick up that there is like a reoccurring theme within a particular section, I will color code that section all in that same color. So let's let's just reuse Roy G. Biv as an example, the rainbow. Um, I will take, if I am looking for a specific point, I will start with red. And so I will go through and I will highlight anything that I notice relating to a specific point in red. And then I'll go through and I will do it also then. Um, same thing, like yellow, blue, green, all the colors. Um, now, depending on how I'm wanting to break it up, with the Gospel of John, I've been breaking everything up by chapters. Uh, when we get started on the next study for next year, um, a lot of it is broken up like by chapters, um, but not completely. So there will be some times when I'm taking like a section by section. Um, but then I will take my colors and then that's how I'm going to arrange my bullet points and I'll see like how I, they are actually all connected. So then I create basically a outline using my Roman numerals because we all learned those in high school. You should be learning them in middle school, but we learned them in high school. And so I'll have like point one, point two, point three, and then I'll have my sub points. And then because I was, might've been taking notes for myself kind of throughout the thing on the sides, that will then also allow me to say like, oh, in this section, we see the same wording like over in this book. Or, and then we saw this, something similar over here. This really reminds me of this. And so then I will go through and I'll start adding in notations that might come from other books, um, like either a New Testament or an Old Te Testament reference. I might make a notation about something if I see like a specific point, uh, I'll make a notation about how, uh, oh, I bet like this is happening in the world right now. I think this really relates here. Um, and that's how I go through and I create basically an outline. Um, now the, like I have always color coded, like in high school, uh, while I was working on, in college on paper, seminary, uh, 
and I would type it into like one giant document and then I would go I as I assembled my notes I would then arrange my points whatever my main points are going to be so you know Roman numeral one two three that kind of thing and then I would go through all of my notes and I would color code all like all the information that would fall under each of the points so my points would be color coded so like I would have like red orange yellow green and then I would go through all of my notes because those were my four main points for my Pam uh, prepping like a lesson or something like this I'm going through and I'm doing my color coding I'm finding like all my different references and then whenever I go to like plan out much more of like here's what I'm gonna say this is how I want to write it then that is what I use for it and it's a lot on the front end but it saves me a big headache on the back end of things that is how like I do it and I think I at some point I, I will make sure that there should have been like a little video somewhere in here um, about like how I do it but that's how I do my Bible studies and my lesson prep um, now this is time <laughs> It is time consuming, but by the time I'm finished, I have interacted with the text so much that I feel very comfortable going through and using it and referencing that. Um, so I've done this with John, um, Nehemiah, I'm currently working on it with Ezra. Um, I've done it with Jonah, Amos, uh, and this is what I found that works best for me. You can always give it a try, see how it works for you. But if you enjoyed this or found this kind of helpful, which I hope you did, uh, make sure that you like and subscribe and feel free to always share. Uh, it lets me know that uh, you're enjoying what it is that I am producing. So I hope to see you all next week. Bye.